Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm back at Isabella's one week later to attach the bottom to the dragon pot. So here we go. The plan here is to lift the dragon on top of the slab that we just rolled out and we've scored it and added slip and hopefully it's big enough and uh, then I'll cut it out to the shape after it's kind of uh, hardened off a bit. So here I go. I'm going to lift the dragon up and place it on the slab. And I've undercut the dragon so I should be able to get my fingers under here. Should be able to. There we go. Like that. That's quite easy actually. Well, there it is. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, really setting good. it down. You did set it. <laughs> What's that? You did set it. It's like, <laughs> nice. Move it around a bit. It's pretty firm on there. That's awesome. Push it down a bit. Okay. Well, that went okay. Mm-hmm. What's next? <laughs> well, Should I cut out a shape? Yeah, or? cut it around. And um, while you're cutting, I would try to also like. Um, push the clay to kind of even it out and maybe undercut a little bit or use the wooden tool because this one is nice and wet so we can work it into the oh, into pot. The foot, into the, yeah, into the foot. Support the, because mm -hmm. the toe's sticking up, isn't it? Yeah. I think it, as it dried, it kind of kind of lifted it up. It happens because this dried faster and this is still wet, so that I got see. a little bit distorts. deformed. Um, okay, well maybe I should... Um, Could we move it up underneath there like that? Sure. Would you like a turntable, Nigel, for that? Yeah, I guess that would be easier. That would be nice. Oh, this is heavy now with the, <laughs> yeah, with with the, the bottom piece. Oh, right. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's... Is it centered? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so now I'm just going to work this clay under the feet here. Well, you could uh, design it as a a little bit larger uh, platform, sort of like a, a so, land. So, yeah, so That's the right. dragon rests on the on the land. Yeah. I think that would be good. That could Maybe be. leave a margin around it. Eh? Mm -hmm. Like especially around the feet, that would yeah. sort of stabilize the feet and okay. make it more sturdy when you're moving it. And yeah. I like that. That looks cool with the um, when you pushed it. Hope it. Just gonna try to rehydrate the nail a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Feel free to use the sponge wherever there is wetness. Okay. okay. What do you think about that? Like uh, having kind of a, a little bit of a platform? I think that's, yeah, I think that's perfect. I think that's a good idea to, that way, when you're moving it, you're mm -hmm. not risking knocking the toes on things and yeah. it's a little stronger, isn't it, to do that way. Which is when you put it in, I saw this looks pretty cool, like yeah. that. I mean, of course, not all of it, but uh, like if we could have part of it, that would be pretty neat. I agree. I agree. Oh, I think. I might Would you like a, a knife or a I think I'll need a, a blunt tool to kind of push it in between the toes here. One of those? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe this one. That'll work, I think. There's so many areas that are really hard to reach on it. The tools just are great for that. Now, I think I'll rough cut it out, eh? Yeah, so you know, you could also do the same thing like all, all around, like whatever. Get it just underneath. Just give it, get, okay. push it in. So, okay. Because we're not going to be putting the coil. Not on the outside, I guess. Yeah. So, because, you know, you have your, your design right up to the, yeah. to the end. Uh, but you can also cut it first and then attach it. It's totally up to you. 
but like I would just like go with the tool once just okay. to kind of just get it in there. Get yeah. it in there, yeah. Okay. I think it's I think it's pretty firmly attached. Cool, that's good. But we'll have to do the coil on the inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you wanna cut out first or put the coil first? Um I'll, I'll roughly cut it. Okay. I don't I'm gonna make it fairly irregular, I think. Mm-hmm. But not I don't want it like it's a little big right now. Yeah. So we'll kind of go. Something like that, I guess. We'll try it. Okay. Let's see if it looks silly or if it looks okay. Yeah, fill it out from all sides. So this clay's still good, isn't it? We can mm -hmm. save that. flowery at the back here, doesn't it? It's a little too even. Yeah, it can be brought a little tighter, I think. It could be. In some it's areas, little, like yeah. in here, you could just go all the way, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it needs... Or like even under the head, too? Or Cut that away, yeah, I think. At least here for now. I think that'll do for now. It's yeah. I can always, can always go back do a little it. work later on if I want to tighten it up a bit or mm -hmm. maybe take this. Bump. Also when you finish all your carving, you can take another look and decide what you want to do. True, true. Maybe put a mock tree in there and see if it's looking horrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm adding the slip in here now. And we're going to add a coil to the dragon to secure it to the bottom of the pot. All right, here I go with the coil. Start. I've watched Dan Barton do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So we've got to, he just, as he's feeding it, he squishes it. Mm -hmm. Because it stretches. Yeah. On now, I wonder if I'd be better or not on the turntable. Oh, maybe it would. You want it off the turntable? You mean, or? Can you lock the turntable from spinning? Or? Not no. really. But maybe I'll put it on the table. Okay. Because I'm going to be pushing it. It's, That's right. It yeah. wants to spin. <laughs> if it's hard, you can also push it with that. Well, I guess it's quite soft, actually. So now I just have to cut my drainage holes. Mm -hmm. uh, see, my theory with pots is they have to drain slower than you add the water. And that way the pot fills up with water mm -hmm. and then fully saturates underneath the roots and everything. If you have too much drainage and not enough water coming on, then it just drains and you never get it wet underneath the base of the tree. That's true. Yeah. So it's best to have a slower draining pot mm -hmm. and have it fill up with water and then it drains out. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's my theory. <laughs> so it all depends on, like if you use a hose, you can have more drainage holes. But if I use my watering can, I don't want too much drainage or it just, it just flows out without filling the pot. Here is the dragon pot, so I've added some drainage holes in here and they just drain to the outside so you can see some down here by the rear foot and there's one over here. So I'll work, I'll sculpt those a little more. There's the inside of the pot, so 
So it'll just drain out the sides. And I might do a little more trimming or sculpting to the base. Maybe add some rocks or something. Yeah, we'll think about that. And eventually the head support will come away. And maybe I'll cut this piece back. But for now, that's it. <laughs> Well, once again, thank you very much, Isabella. You're welcome, Nigel. It was wonderful coming over. And when it's all done, I'll just bring it over then and mm -hmm. drop it off and we'll let it dry. And, yeah. and someday it'll get fired. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> it is the next day now. I've got the dragon pot back at home. I'm going to try and finish it today. Fingers crossed. So here I go. So my first step, I'm going to clean up the inside of the pot. So there's a look at the drainage holes. There's two there and two around here. So I'm just going to clean up the pot so it's got a nice tapered inner wall to it. And then I can, uh, once that's finalized, I can start the scales. And I'm glad I didn't do the scales all the way around because it was nice to have one area you could pick the dragon pot up by and not squish the scales in. So it was kind of good that I didn't finish it before we added the base to it. So I'll get a sculpting tool. I think I'll use this wooden tool and I'll come in here and I'll just start tapering, tapering the sides, making a nice inside to the pot so the tree will come in and out fairly easily. This will also make the volume of the pot a little larger. After maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, I have the inside of the pot all smoothed out. My drainage holes all nice. Yeah, so that's the inside of the pot. I think a tree will be quite happy in there. My next step will be cutting out that base, my base plate here, deciding where I want the contours, and it'll be a difficult decision. Yeah, so I need to decide how close you know, how much overhang I want on the base. I don't think I want a whole lot. It's just a functional piece of the sculpture. I don't want it taking away from, you know, the dragon or anything. So I think I want to come in, you know, fairly close. Not, you know, right against the dragon, but fairly close. I'll try kind of sculpting around the base, leaving, you know, maybe 10 millimeters. See how it looks. So here I go. I'm going to come from above. And just start carving away. Another one and then the final one. Let's see how that looks. I think it looks better. I think it makes it look more like a pot rather than like a diorama. I also have to decide about the edge, if I want an abrupt 90 degree angle or do I want to chamfer it or taper it or... There's a lot of options. I think I'm getting fairly close to, you know, the final shape of the base. I'll just brush away all the shavings here and then we'll stand back and have a look at it. See if I'm liking the shape of the base. So far I am, but uh, I'm going to stand back and... Here is a look at the base plate. Yeah, I think the basic size is quite nice. I don't think it... Uh, And stand out as being too big or too small. Now I have to decide about the edge if I'm going to chamfer it, round it, sculpt it to look like ground. There's a lot of possibilities. I think in this case, because the dragon's fancy, I think the base should be very plain. I don't want your eye going to the base. So I think the base plate should be very, very simple, just flat, 
maybe a chamfer on it or a decorative edge something uh, something that looks finished but doesn't take away from the sculpture I've tried a chamfer on the front part underneath the head and you can see how it it thins out the clay so it looks less heavy and it's also it's a nice looking edge comparing it to over here by the foot where it's thick and heavy looking this looks finished and it makes the clay look so much thinner so I think that's the way to go is a chamfer all the way around and a chamfer is fairly easy to do it's I thought about you know a fancy edge but I think the chamfer will do it now I could undercut the bottom a little bit too to make the clay look even thinner so that's a possibility I'll try that on the front here and see how it looks Here's a look at the front now with the double chamfer, one on the bottom and one on the top. And that makes the clay look even lighter. And I think it's quite nice. Looks much, much better than the thick edge over here, which takes your eye away. It just looks, makes it look heavy. This makes it look light, more delicate, even though it's not, it's uh, an illusion. So I think that's the way to go is the double chamfer on the clay base. Here is a look at the double chamfer on the base and it sure makes it look light and it, it looks like it's kind of floating a bit too with that undercut. I think it's a big improvement. It really, yeah, I think it looks quite nice. So I've got this built up section here with my two drainage holes and I have to decide what I'm going to do in that area. Um, if I just leave it plain like that, or if I sculpt it away a bit more. And I also have the space, you know, under this foot here, which I could do something else too. I don't want to make, I don't think I want to make rocks or anything. I think just plain kind of match the edge of the pot and the inside, just something smooth looking. And I think that'll be it. It'll just be like a wall there to look like the dragons kind of matching the terrain maybe. Okay, so yeah, I've got a bit of refining to do uh, on the edges here, smoothing it out, and then uh, I'll carve these nice and smooth and then see how they look. And if it looks good, well, I'll go with that. It's getting later on in the day, getting towards the evening. I took a break from the carving because it was getting too hot here in the greenhouse the fins on the back here were drying out too quickly even though I was spraying them with water so I thought I'd better wait till it cools off a bit I'm in the shade here now and I can resume working on the dragon pot I'm just rotating the pot around now um, I think I'm a little heavy on the foot here so I'll carve that away a bit I think I'm just sticking out a bit too far I think that's a better, better kind of uh, overhang there. Keep my chamfer on my piece here. So I'm just having a look at it, making sure everything's looking good. I, I did a lot of sculpting in this area, kind of taking it back. I didn't want it too heavy looking here. I just got to do a bit of smoothing there now. So that's another area I can work on smoothing that out a bit. Maybe even taking more material off here. I'm just, it's very thick through here. And this is on an angle and it kind of catches the light. I think if it was more vertical, it would be a little less noticeable. So I might try kind of sculpting that wall back a bit. Um, I've got to add my scales to the inside and the outside so that the scales went pretty quickly. And then on the head here, the dragon's head, I don't know, you know, if I want patterns on the face or just leave it simple and plain. I'm not sure. 
I have a feeling I'll just leave it simple. Like I was thinking of, you know, if I make a light scale pattern in here, but I think it would take away from the dragon. I think I have enough scale texture on the dragon itself. So I think I'm, what I'm saying is I, I think I'm getting close to completion. Uh, other than a bit of refinement to the base still, uh, a bit of smoothing. And some thinning here. And then I can add the scales. And that will be about it. I am all finished the work on the dragon pot tonight. So I've made good progress. I'm going to leave the scales for tomorrow morning because the clay will be nice and soft in the morning. I'll spray it, put the plastic bag on it. And I think that will complete it other than, you know, going in and just maybe touching up the odd thing. But I think it's basically getting close to being done. So yeah, I'll bag it up for tonight and uh, put the scales in tomorrow morning and I'll be done my dragon pot. Very exciting. This is day eight on this dragon project. So I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. I think a few more hours of work tomorrow morning on this dragon pot and it'll all be finished. So that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.